In this video, I'm going to share with you how to fix one of the most common error messages that beginner developers come across with when they're building their mobile applications with Xcode. As you know, guys, I record video tutorials and publish lots of different code examples on Swift. And uh, by the way, uh, for the past few months, I've been publishing not only Swift, but also uh, lots of things on uh, Java and Android and Kotlin. I have lots of uh, good examples for you with Kotlin and Firebase. So check this out, Apps Developer Blog. But going back to Swift and Xcode and this one of the most common error messages that takes place. As you work with your user interface, you add elements, you delete elements, you reposition elements. And this is when that error message takes place. So let me demonstrate you this. I will add a couple of outlets one for username and I'll call it username text field and one for password. I'll create one more. So as you work on your code, you add functions and you add variables and then you rename variables. And it often happens that you decide to rename one of your outlets. For example, username text field, you decide that it will be uh, username or because uh, you are actually accepting username as email, you will rename this outlet to user email user email text field and then you run your application and this is when you see that very confusing error message so my application is up and running and uh, i'm about to see that error message in the console let me open this up and here we go the error message took place and i'm going to be taken to app delegate now this is my app delegate and I'm not sure what just has happened. I'm looking at the app delegate and not even in my view controller that I was working on. And there's lots of things here in the console. I don't really know what has happened and why I get this error message. And this is very frustrating if this is your first time dealing with it and you don't even know where to look for an error message because it's not a particular function that it took place in. If you look at this error message line by line, you will see that it has a description. This class is not key value coding compliant for the key username text field. So this is already one of the differences. If you go back to your view controller, so let me go back to my view controller that I was working with and close this part. The error message says username text field, but I do not have an outlet with this name, username text field. I have user email text field. But this is not so obvious to notice right away, especially if you're just beginning. So to fix this, you just simply copy the name of the key that it cannot find and then select the field and paste the correct name for it and then the dot will be filled in indicating that connection is properly established. Another way how to find and fix this error is to go back to your main storyboard and hide the console panel to give yourself a little more room and then open up the right side panel here and select view controller and switch to the connections inspector. And if you look closely at the connections inspector, you have outlets here. If you move mouse at each outlet, it will show you the UI element it is associated with. But on the right side, it shows these dots. If the dot is filled in, then it shows that connection is properly established. But one of the dots here, it, it's not filled in and it has an exclamation mark in it. So that exclamation mark shows that something is wrong with this um, outlet and it's causing a problem. So again, one of the ways to fix it is to compare the name. This one says user name text field. But if I open assistant editor and look into the source code, I will notice that I do not have username text field here. I have user email text field and user password text field. But this one is username text field. So this one is causing problem. So one of the ways to fix it is to delete that connection that is causing the problem. So I'll click on the X to delete this outlet. And then I will go back to my view controller and then hide this right side panel and simply recreate one. So that was 
for a username text field, I will select it, hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag and drop at the name to create that outlet again. And you will notice that the dot on the right side is filled in again, which tells me that it's now working and will not cause a problem. And if I select view controller and then open up connections inspector, I will see that I don't have any exclamation marks on the right side. So the error is now fixed and I can run this application again and it should work. No error messages will be thrown. Here we go. My application is up and it's working and no error messages we have. So Xcode really looks so clean and simple, but there are lots of these hidden features and it really takes time to find all of these things and to learn of these things by experience, by Googling and trying to pick up a little from that discussion on Stack Overflow and then a little from another discussion on Stack Overflow. And uh, you feel that knowledge will come from experience only as you work on more and more with Xcode, which is true. But again, trying to fix weird errors like this and learning all of this kind of Xcode features takes months and even years of development experience if doing it by Googling alone. If you switch to my Swift developer blog and search my blog for Xcode tips, let me do that, Xcode tips, you will find blog posts that are dedicated to Xcode tips and tricks. And at this moment, I have a couple of them and each of them has six videos that are excellent. And th those are not my videos. Those are videos by a different instructor. But there is a collection of almost hundreds of those beautiful video tutorials on Xcode tips and tricks. And lots of them I have watched and, and now have in my toolbox, which really make me feel more confident as a developer and give me a very good feeling when I work with Xcode and I feel that I know these tricks. So check out Swift Developer Blog, search for Xcode tips and tricks. I'm adding more video tutorials and code examples for them and, and message me and let me know if there is an example that you're looking for and I don't have it and I'll do my best to create a blog post on that topic.